Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I want to show you how simple, how quick and easy it is to set up a remote camera on a monopod. So if you're shooting a kind of sporting event or something like that, you want to get a really epic shot, this is a really, really simple technique to use. Now you just need four things to do this. Number one, you're going to need a monopod, of course, obviously. Number two is you're going to have to choose which kind of lens you want to use. Now, generally for this stuff, you're either going to want to use a wide angle lens, like a 16 to 35, and I would go as wide as you can, so like a 16 or maybe even something wider. And then your second choice would be a fisheye, which is what I'm using here today. I'm using a 15 millimeter fisheye, which is probably my favorite one to use with this, but either really, really wide or fisheye, either choice is good. Number three, you're going to need some kind of a wireless trigger. Now, I use Pocket Wizard Plus 3s for this. You can use any kind of brand that you like, but you're going to need a wireless trigger. You're going to need one that goes on the camera and one that you hold in your hand. So you need both of these, but there's one last part, and it's easy. You need the cable. This is the cable that connects from your, your wireless transmitter to your camera. Now, you get this cable when you actually order your Pocket Wizard. If you go to Pocket Wizard, you'll, they'll find a place where you can say, what kind of camera do you have? You get to tell them, I've got, in this case, this is a Canon EOS 1DX. So you can tell them, I have this type of camera. They'll make sure that you have the right kind of cable. Those are the four things you need. Monopod, couple of remotes, choose your wide angle lens, and the all important cable. Once you've got those, the rest is so incredibly easy. Step one is we're going to take one of the transmitters, pocket wizards, like the way I went blank there for a minute, the pocket wizard. We're going to put it on top of the camera. Then one end goes into the pocket wizard. The other end goes right onto the side of your camera. We're going to put this right in here. Now, turn it on, turn your other one on. Make sure they're on the same channel. This is on channel nine, this is on channel nine as well. And when you press the button, it fires the remote. That's it, how easy is that? Now, as far as your focus goes, here's what I like to do. I like to switch it from auto focus to manual focus mode. So that's step one, switch it to manual focus right here on the side of the camera. Then you're actually gonna turn the focus ring until it goes to infinity. So the infinity symbol looks like an eight laying on its side. Go to the infinity symbol and then come back to the white line just before it. So turn it till you go infinity and then back just a tiny bit to the white line, then you're set. The last piece of this puzzle is literally to connect this to the monopod. It just screws right on. So now you have this, you can put it anywhere you want. What I will normally do is extend this thing all the way out and it goes really, really high. And what I do is I use my knee to support it. So if I'm shooting a game or shooting the entrance players coming on the field or something like that, I'm gonna actually anchor it on my leg like this and be able to shoot up high. I hold the monopod either in my other hand or in my same hand to fire it. If I wanna go right above a group, I'm right here with it in my hand or at an angle, or if you want to get low, get some players that are getting ready. There's a million ways you can use this thing, but that's how easy it is. Two pocket wizards, little cable, choose a uh, wide angle lens. One last little tip, to when you're walking around with this thing and you're going all over the field or something, you want to make sure that something doesn't bump it or move it. I take a little piece of gaffer's tape and go over both the the focus part of it, so the focus ring doesn't move. And so this particular one is a zoom. It goes from eight to 15. I wanna make sure it doesn't come off 15. So I put a piece of gaff, black gaffer's tape right over the front. That's it, that's all there is to you doing this weekend, going out and doing a remote on a monopod for wide angle dramatic fisheye shots.